Hey, what's going on y'all? I got a question for you and I want you to think about this. Of everyone that you know who has died, all your loved ones that died, how many of them saw it coming? Think about that. The truth is, none of us know when this, this life is coming to an end. And it's really, really short. Our time here is so small. And therefore, it is precious. Simply from the fact of how limited it is. Like, your time on this earth is a rare, precious item in your life. And to quote scripture, like water spilled on the ground which cannot be recovered, so we must die. But that is not what God desires. Rather, he devises ways so that a banished person does not remain banished from him. Okay, first off, your life is like water being poured out onto the ground. You cannot bring, you can't gather it back. It's lost. Every ounce of time is fleeting from you. It is running from you and you will never put your hands on it again. Think of that. Think of how precious the, every moment of our lives are. It's like, I mean, you don't, none of us know when it's gonna end. And we, we live the, and create these lives that are just so pointless in distractions. And you one day look up and, and all of a sudden it's like, it, it's the people who find out they're gonna die it's, it, that's just as depressing because it's like, because then you're convicted with how much time did you waste? You know, y'all, if there's just one encouragement I have is it's like, you, you, every second of our life needs to be spent in fellowship with the Lord and with this, with this, with scripture, this is it. This has all the answers of what you're supposed to do with your life. Everything in my own life and where I'm at right now is completely in submission to this. I don't, you can't think about what you want to do. Your life can't be operating in the term of want, but needs. You know, it's funny. I had somebody ask me if I wanted to one day start a church or something. And it's funny because I responded with, I don't think in terms of want, I think in terms of what is needed in this life and what can I facilitate so I have to in so I encourage the same thing to you ask yourself what needs are there in this life and what can you facilitate what has God put you on this earth to do with your preciously few seconds that you have and where can you put it and, and ask yourself how have you been doing it and don't be afraid of this do not be afraid of these concepts do not be afraid to admit if you have wasted time because the only way you're ever going to stop or change that is if you can admit that so that being said just remember seek fellowship with the lord that scripture that i just read to you was in terms of uh there was a king who banished his son for the son's wrongs but at the same time, at some point, you gotta ask yourself when it's worth restoring a relationship with. So, it, you know, it's like whether it's someone you've excommunicated out of your life, whether you've been running from your own mission, whether it's a sin that you haven't properly dealt with or whatever, but like, look, y'all, time is limited and it's all coming to an end. And I just gotta ask you, and the same question that I've been asking myself, and that's how are you spending your time? What is your goal? What is your primary objective? Is it what scripture says? Because this makes it very clear how we're supposed to live our lives and what we're supposed to do with it. You're supposed to be a missionary too. Did you know that? Did you know according to scripture, you're supposed to be a missionary and that Jesus gives a lot of opinions of how it should look? That's not my opinion. That's not what I think. That's what the Bible says. If you don't believe me, read it. Read this for yourself. But all the answers you need, everything you need in your life, in regards to your purpose, how you're to spend your time, how you're to have fellowship with the Lord, all of that is in Scripture. So start reading your Bible now. And if you've already been reading it, praise God, but read it more. That's it. Like, that's it. We have to devote ourselves to Scripture. And then for 50% of the time, and the other 50%, we need to do it. So that's the encouragement I got for you tonight. Heavy, but hopefully worth hearing. So I'm praying for you. All right. Hope the Lord's moving through your life. 
Like, comment, subscribe. And of course, uh, hey, if you ever want to support this at missionmike.com, you can see all this. There's a ton of support for you. Like, use it. I am here at your service. And if you want to keep any of this alive, there's a donate button. I always appreciate that kind of stuff. You help keep the mission going. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about this. So may God get all of the glory. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.